In 2011, Cameron County Judge Carlos Cascos says the county made leaps and bounds on opportunity-changing projects, such as the first designation of I-69 and the West Rail Project. It's the first step in bringing more jobs to the valley. The items that, that businesses look at is the, the integrity of our infrastructure. Do we have you know, adequate highways? Can we transport our, our inventory quickly? One of the challenges, Cascos says, has been balancing the budget. In trying to ensure every taxpayer's dollar was used wisely and in the best way possible. Another challenge that continues into 2012 is health care programs. The way that, that we provide health care services through our indigent program, uh, we, we've got some state mandates that are, that are going to take effect like in the next 45 to 60 days that we're going to have to really decide you know, what we're going to do in regards of providing health care. Casco says this year he also hopes officials will have a more uniformed approach to combat spillover border violence. Uh, so, you know, you, you can't have it both ways. I believe that uh, our, our concerns and challenges are not as, as drastic as other parts of the border. But in order to keep those problems from escalating and from getting worse, we need to have assistance from the federal government. And looking further down the road, Gascos hopes to start putting long rumored plans in place this new year. Another one that that's, you know, we need to focus on is the, is the causeway to the island. Even though we believe that's still three to five, six years away, it's a process that we have to go through and we just cannot let up.